Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. Now, before we get to today's episode, I want to talk a little bit about what's been happening across the ice belt here the last couple weeks. And as most everyone knows, it's been the polar vortex that's been making all the news. It's made our job getting out there on the ice every week very difficult. In fact, Pat McSherry, the guy that hosted last week in those incredibly cold conditions up on Green Bay, still dealing with some frostbite on his face. So Pat, I tip my hat to you, last week was tough. Now, the good news, those incredibly cold temperatures have opened things up all across the ice belt for us here at End Up Outdoors. We were feeling a little bit isolated. Uh, with all the warm temperatures we had, we really weren't able to stretch our legs and start hitting some of those destinations that require cold weather. So that ends today. I'm headed with PJ Dave Kuntz, and we're going to Saginaw Bay, Michigan. This is a fantastic, great lake style fishery. Lots of fish, so good numbers bite with a chance at a true trophy. It is one of those destinations that we've hit very few times here at In Depth Outdoors. In fact, last year was our first trip to this destination and we missed it by one day. That classic, you should have been here yesterday type deal. So this time around, we're really hoping we've got our timing just right. So stick around, it's Dave Koontz. PJ, Vic, and I, Saginaw Bay, here today on In-Depth Outdoors. You ready, Coach? Yes, sir. <laughs> I can't get over how different the ice conditions are near shore versus out here. I yeah. mean, obviously it's warmer. It's coming off, you know, black dirt versus ice, but right. it looks like a swampy mess in there. Yeah, it is a swampy Well, it was a swampy mess in there. Yeah. There's some serious ice jams. Yeah. Holy yeah, moly. There was a lot of shifting around some out big, here. big ice jams. Well, as it gets warmer, it's only going to get worse. So yes. we got that to look forward to. Yes. <laughs> You know, as we talk this through, PJ, Dave, and I, one of the big things we wanted to do is we just kind of wanted to find a place where we could nestle in uh, away from any big groups. And uh, there are ice fishermen near us, but everybody's kind of got a real nice spacing to them, I'd say 500 yards apart from the group. So uh, the one thing you really want to avoid out here is, you know, seeing that huge just armada of ice houses on the distance and then just kind of running out into that area, plopping down and thinking you're gonna catch fish. I mean, it works once in a while, but more often what happens as these big schools move on these flats, they get near that noise and commotion of those big, big groups and they actually reroute themselves. So, uh, you know, we don't want to fall into that scenario, but uh, things look pretty good. We're gonna have a few neighbors, but uh, they're gonna be far enough away where we should all be able to catch some fish. Second on me. Another hey, one. Hey, double. Right on. <laughs> That's the way to start the day. <laughs> Feels like a nice fish, even. Fish on. Oh, my two coons has got one. All right. Triple. Yeah, the often attempted rarely <laughs> pulled off. The rarely executed triple. <laughs> Ooh. Well, yours is digging. Spunky. I got a nice eater here. We are all armed with ripping wraps right now. Oh, the yeah. bite is uh, early ice aggressive. It might be February <laughs> by the calendar, but they just got ice in the last couple weeks. So these fish are all fired up. And we were hoping to get out here on Saginaw Bay, get out in front of one of the big schools that you can find out here in this body of water. 
And I think we're off to a pretty good start. I do. I think we found them. <laughs> All right. There we go. Man, impossible. Really nice fish. The limit here is eight, believe it or not. Saginaw Bay, the population of walleyes out here, it's really a success story. They've actually increased the limits and uh, lowered the minimum size length so guys can keep more fish. You just don't hear a lot about that in this day and age. So it's great to see. We're gonna take some fish home. That one's going in the bucket. Nice. I like seeing vapor trails like that. Yes, sir. Go back. Let that one go. See ya. Goodbye. I'm grinning from ear to ear. I love this. We keeping? We're keeping some fish, yeah. All right, this yep. is a good size keeper. We'll yeah, throw that's them a good on eater. Ice. Starting to wonder, did we pick the right spot? <laughs> Can't see the sun, it's so cloudy overcast today, but the sun's just coming up. We're getting a little bit more light. We hadn't marked a fish and it literally went, fish, fish, <laughs> fish. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about fishing the Great Lakes like this, you know, back home in Minnesota, uh, we're used to talking about schools where you might have a half dozen, 10, you know, a big school might be 20 fish. Uh, out here, it's literally thousands that'll cover half an acre, you know, kind of deal, just spread out at a certain depth range. So it's real common where if you're fishing with a large group of guys, every other guy in the group's got a fish on. Strikemaster introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and a two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strikemaster. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, Ice Fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Look at that. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Is a decent one. I'm telling you, these fish come through in waves. And you know, it's not the first time I've ever experienced this, but I kind of forget what it's like after not fishing these Great Lakes walleyes for a while. I'm working one, Koontz has got two, PJ's talking about three on his screen. One thing I did notice is I was starting to have a few fish that were uh, turning their nose up at that number seven rip and wrap. So what I've done here is I've switched over to a three sixteenths ounce tingler spoon, gold back, perch front, put a shiner head on there. And uh, I think the fish that we were on first thing this morning just were really aggressive. Put anything down there, move it, they ate it. And now they're just, they've slowed down just a little bit. And this tingler spoon, a little bit more uh, natural, more seductive uh, versus that just raw aggression you get with a really big rip and wrap. And I'm converting more of those fish now. I'm sure uh, we get into the afternoon period today. We're supposed to get really nice warmer temperatures today. I bet those rip and wraps are gonna be the deal. But middle of the day, we're probably gonna have to slow things down a little bit and at least get smaller, throw a little meat on the, on the baits and that'll help. But that's a really good eater. 
All right, I think that minnow head there is good enough to be reused again. You know, we punched a bunch of holes to start the morning and I don't think we've moved from the three that we originally dropped down in. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you can do that. That's a, that's a good sign, yep. <laughs> I think the thing that's got all of our spirits up, you know, the last two weeks have just been miserable. You know, 20, 30 below zero plus wind chill. And then, you know, to start the morning today, it was supposed to be about 15 degrees, but by the end of the day, we're gonna be pushing 40 degrees. Uh, that's gonna keep spirits high. Fish biting or not, of course, the way they're biting, I think we're in for a pretty good day out here on the ice. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some shoulders to this one. Well, that feels good. Oh yeah. Little rod shake. Come on, baby. Come on up. Oh, I see my swivel. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got that jig and wrap just engulfed in his mouth. <laughs> Look at that, baby. I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whoa. Thank you, sir. You bet. Look at that. Just oh. gone. <laughs> Nicely done. Quite the belly on that. Yeah. Girl. No doubt. I thought you were talking about me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank think uh, when you start pointing that belly, that's pot pulling oh, down a black bud. <laughs> no doubt. Look at that, sweetheart. So this is what Saginaw Bay is like. Is Second fish, like. I like that. Yeah. He does make Look a at... distinctive noise, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, she's blowing pretty good. I don't want her to get her messed up. Oh, you mean freeze the fins? Yeah. Dandy. Say goodbye. See you. <laughs> Love that. Let you, that one go, guys. You wouldn't raise the bar on us there, Mr. Coons. Nice. Oh, man. That's a, awesome. Let's get back at you it. Need yeah. You need a minnow? I think I'm going to need a minnow. Yes. Those. <laughs> yeah. I got me a little digging wrap fish here. You got another one? Switched over to some jigging wraps, getting some uh, better responses to the baits. Oh, there he is. Oh, did he woof that? Look at that. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> yep. So we started out with the big ripping wraps, had a really fun bite to start the morning. Just fish were just loco. And of course, as often is the case, they slowed down a little bit. This guy has this thing completely broadside in his mouth. I've got one hook coming yeah, out here, that. and I've got a hook coming out over here. That fish was going nowhere. Oh, man. I mean, the numbers of fish coming through on the screen, this has been, it's been a pretty awesome morning already. Well, you know, the guys haven't been fishing out here too long. No. But we have heard afternoons of where it's at. Yeah. That one's coming back with me. Uh, that, that thing was in deep. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> But yeah, just a little number five golden black jig and wrap minnow yeah. head, standard yeah. fare. And I think it's just that darting action, yeah. you know, with the meat on it. You know, if you take and you add a, a minnow to a, a rip and wrap or a slab wrap, you just don't get the same action. Yeah. But a jig and wrap holds up to that pretty well. You still get the action, but yeah, with absolutely. the meat on there. Yeah, and I'm using a blue chrome. Dave's using a completely different color pattern. It, it's definitely the action it that, that, that's making the fish bite. Right. So, yeah. Well, we've got good temperatures today i mean everybody knows unless you've been you know living under a rock you know it's been you know fiercely cold yeah temps are coming up but man the wind is just brutal so we've been kind of hopping in and out of the otter houses get warmed up come back out hop around to some different holes get cold usually yep. after catching a fish yeah, i know where definitely. i'm heading right after yeah. this plus i need a minnow so right on well thanks for coming over for a visit yeah. nice work i promise to do the same for you if you okay. can oh. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. 
Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic Flow Rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we make the longest lasting, most dependable enclosed trailers on the road today. By building quality, our competition just can't match. Our all aluminum construction gives you a heavy duty but lightweight trailer that can handle your tough hauls. Aluma trailers are engineered for ease of use with you in mind. All backed by our unbeatable five year warranty. Work or play, get there with Aluma. We're in it for the long haul. we go. Oh, he just clobbered it. Not as big as I thought, but healthy fella. Another nice low 20s walleye on the jigging wrap. Well, this uh, perch color number five jigging wrap sure has put a lot of nice fish in. For me today, yeah, we'll let him go. Swim another day. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. There he is. Another fish? That will come up a long way, buddy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Feels solid. I don't know that uh, it's as big as the better fish we've had today, but it's going to be a good one. We're catching fish all over the map. Yeah, I mean, it's is... been jigging wraps, ripping wraps, spoons. Yeah. I got a slab wrap on now. <laughs> I think I've caught a half dozen of them in about a half an hour here. Nice fish. Yeah, there fish. you go. Ooh, look at that. What you got there, boss? I got a nice wall. Nice. <laughs> he did all the work. <laughs> there we go. We've catch, you know, we've caught some really nice fish here yeah, today. Yeah, we and have. we're just getting started. Yeah. It, it's early and I mean consistent on the eater action. Right. We, we've put a lot of eaters topside this morning already. We were here last year and classic story of should have been here yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So this year we were not gonna let it happen. No. You got no. ice, here we come. Yep. <laughs> All right, pop that bugger out of there. There's that bait. Come on, don't bite it. Slap her up. I think that's like a uh, hot perch color. Been really good for me here. We got a little bit more light out here now, and I think the more muted patterns are working a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, and certainly the number seven ripping wraps, they'll come back into, yeah, come come back. Back into style yeah, later yeah. in the day, but right now the fish are, you know, they're a little bit tentative around yeah, them. They are. Super fish. All right. Bye. <laughs> nice this work, fun. man. Heck yeah. I love it when it works out. I know. There's a good one. That was a big mark right there. What you got? I might need a hand here, James. This Hold is on. a heavy fish. Good Lord, that uh, was just a huge mark. That's the biggest uh, bend in the year rod I've seen today. Yes. All right. Giganto mark? Big, big mark. Biggest mark I've seen all day. All right, we'll take this, <laughs> we'll take this serious then. <laughs> Definite trophy potential. Big eel on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Garp. You can just tell with that that constant weight. This is this is a good one. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a huge walleye. It's as wide as the hole oh, is around. Lord. You trust me? Yes, I trust you. Hold on. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my! <laughs> I got her pinned. <sighs> what a giant, James! Take that thing. Oh my! Gosh, oh, 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 oh. that is a freaking pig. It's not an eel pout. No, not an eel pout at all. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. This is why we come to the Great Lakes. Yes. Oh my. We've been vindicated. <sighs> yes. Last year, missed her by one day. 
And and we're talking middle of the day right here. What is it? 12:30? We got time. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that, only bite in the afternoon. That, that fish is all of 30 inches. That is a giant. Yeah, that is a giant. You know what I saw it go by? It literally <laughs> there was no way to see around it. It covered the whole bottom of the hole. Well, thank you for recommending that slab wrap hey, right there. It's been so good for me for like the last <sighs> hour. Just been killing them on there. Oh. Not that big. <laughs> I hope more of them come like that on, on them slab If we blew the whistle five. right now and left, you've already had a great day. Yeah, we won. And we've only got like half the, the day, day burned so far. Yes, yes. That, what an incredible fish. That is a stud. Yes. Boy. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Right. We'll get that big girl back. That is the biggest walleye <sighs> I've seen in a while. Man, that is incredible. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> It's like a mermaid's tail in there. You can do it, you can do you it, you can, can do, do it. it. There you go, girl. <laughs> Off she goes. That was awesome. <laughs> that Hugs was, for 30s. Yeah, absolutely. That was exactly why we traveled here. And you know, Saginaw produces big fish, obviously, but I mean, you don't come here banking on a giant like that. You know? Just fingers crossed, hoping and praying. <laughs> All right, so let's just fill out the rest of the day with typical six to eight, you know, eight, nine pounders, yeah. like normal, and <laughs> be good. <Right>. We'll be <laughs> good. <laughs> nice. Good, good deal. Oh, man. Yeah. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Oh, there's one. Looks like you got the right one. That's a little better head shake. Nice. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. <sighs> PJ's got his sprint on. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like you got the right one out of the four. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> Good man. Yeah. Nice fish. There we go. Been working, there was like four of them on there. Yeah, this one here was, like I said, 10 feet under, under the ice. She came way up for it. There's a lot of fish working through this There's area right now. There's a lot of fish right now. I'm gonna let this one go right away so we can get down there and catch some more. Like maybe a 30 inch or so, yeah, that'd huh? that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for the assist, bud. Yeah, you're welcome. See you later, old girl. Yes. There he is. About time. There you go. We ran man. into it three other times. <laughs> like, there's a shoulder. There's a tail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Here's a little bump. Here we go. Come on, old girl. Another one. Smoke it. Come Do on, it, Coach. Come on. Come on. Be sweet. We have caught. I bet you I've caught 25 fish. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Yes. And everybody's catching about the same number. Amazing. Judges, how was that on my release? Was it, it was solid? excellent. I'll, right. I'll give it a 10. You give it a 10. Yep. I guarantee you the Russian judge is going to be like 8.2, you know, <laughs> hold me back. 9.9, 9.9, 10 Russian judge, 8.2. <laughs> Go get your silver medal. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there he is. Ah. <laughs> 
All that right. is like competition there. Send some our way. And they're, I mean, they're nice eater sized fish, but they're, it's neat when they get a little competition and then they'll get a little more aggressive. There we go. There. Let me go. Book. All right. There it is. Got him. <laughs> fish on? Yeah, he followed it a long way, but he just didn't hit it very hard. He needs some help? Nah, I got it. I'm gonna go out <laughs> fly solo. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's oh, a yeah. nice fish. I switched colors on us though here a little bit. I'm still fishing that slab wrap number five. And I went with what I believe is just a plain perch color. Not that hot glow perch that's been so good for us. I'm not sure why I switched. I was just feeling like throwing a little variety at them. All right. That one's coming home with me. You know, talked a little bit about the, the walleye population here, how healthy it is. Eight fish limit per guy. Minimum size limit's 13. I typically won't keep anything over, you know, 18, 19 inches. This one's probably 20, 21 inches. Gonna be a good eater. Trust me, I got the gill pretty good. When that happens, what's the point of letting it go if it's just gonna die? So that one's coming home with us. Back at it. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And let me tell you what a phenomenal day on the ice with a couple of great friends. Every time I get out, get a chance to fish with these guys. It always turns into a phenomenal time. And let me tell you, the bite was outstanding as well. That fish that PJ put on the ice, one of the biggest walleyes we've seen here on In-Depth Outdoors, through the ice anyway, in a couple of seasons. So if you're looking to get in on a phenomenal midwinter ice bite, now keep in mind, this is February. Typically, you know, Minnesota, Wisconsin, this is tough time of year to be out there on the ice uh, pulling fish through the hole. So if you're really looking to stretch your legs a little bit, burn up that gas card, Saginaw Bay right now is an incredible destination. Give it a chance, check it out yourself. I'm sure you're gonna be as impressed as we are. So before we go, just one last reminder, we are coming down to the wire with accepting entries for the Dream Trip giveaway. If you wanna get yourself entered for a chance to fish and film with the crew here at In-Depth Outdoors, go to our homepage, indepthoutdoors.com, look for the Dream Trip icon, click on that, get yourself entered for a chance to fish and film with everyone here at In-Depth Outdoors. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.